Let us now look at how do you find the missing angle of a triangle. Now when two angles of a triangle are given, we subtract the sum of these two angles from 180 degree and get the measure of the third angle. This is actually very simple. I mean if you are told that A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degree. Why 180 degree? Because of the angle sum property of a triangle, the sum of all the three si angles of a triangle is 180 degree, right? If you know the value of these two, it's easier to find out the value of the third one. How? By just subtracting these two from 180 degree. That is going to give you the measure of the third angle. Let's look at some practical problems around this. In a triangle, two who are two of whose angles are 45 degree and 75 degree find the third angle. So like I told you if there are three angles A plus B plus C their total is equal to 180 degree. You are told that one of the angles is 45 degree the other angle is 75 degree you need to find out what is the value of C when the sum of these three is equal to 180 degree by virtue of the angle sum property of the triangle. So C is nothing but 180 degree minus if you move this to the other side of the equation you get 45. So 180 minus 75 plus 45 how much would that be 80 120 will give you 60 degree. So the value of the third angle will be 60 degree. In an isosceles triangle what is an isosceles triangle? Do you recall what we learned in the previous video? If not, you may just go back and le learn about it. An isosceles triangle is a triangle in which the base angles are equal. Right? So in an isosceles triangle, the base angles are 50 degrees each. Which means that one is 50, the other one is 50. Right? Find the third angle. Isn't that simple? 50 plus 50 plus the third angle by virtue of the angle sum property is equal to 180 degree. So the third angle is nothing but 180 minus 50 minus 50 or in other words 180 minus 100 or 80 degree. Right?